Okay guys, today I am going to show you how to set up a scan to SMB or scan to folder on a Fuji Xerox machine um, using the address book editor. So first of all, you need to download the address book editor for your relevant machine. This is an uh, DocuCenter SC2022 machine. So download the address book editor from the web. Um, you want to then open up the address book editor, which we'll show you now how to do address book editor. Um, mine's automatically connected, but you could connect to another printer. You just say connect via network, choose OK, put in the IP address, and connect to the machine, and it will it will then show you all this information. Now let's go OK and OK. It'll log into the machine and show you all the information about the machine. Um, regarding the address books. So today what I'm going to show you is you can update your address book information. Very easy. Right click new, enter a new person, uh, put that email address in, uh, new at da -da -da com, and give them an index number. So this will be number two because the one's already in there. Okay, new person's in there. You can then push save that pushes it to the machine and the address book is updated. So very simple to do that. And uh, the next step is scan to email, which is still very step-by-step -step and easy, um, but you need to follow these instructions. Okay, so we're gonna click on server. And from here, we're gonna right click and do new. Now, this is the settings that are required. You can enter these manually if you want, or you can use the computer settings wizard. First of all, you wanna set up a user for this um, machine so that the printer can put the files in the relevant folder. So to do that, you want to type in users, add users to your um, Windows, which are these ones here. You want to add someone else to this PC. This, if you know your user details, you can put them in there, but often it doesn't work. So just create a new user for the printer. You do not have the person sign in information. Uh, you're not using Microsoft, so add a user without a Microsoft account. This one's a Fuji, so let's call the user Fuji. Let's make a nice um, secure password for it. Um, you're always going to have to do a couple of um, security questions. And then next. So now we have a new account called Fuji, which has access to our computer. Um, so close that now. And the best bet, you can enter these details manually if you've shared a folder. Um, if you do want to manually share a folder, you want to do it via um, right-clicking, sharing. Uh, let's have this look here. Uh, let's go here. If you wanted to share this folder, right-click and uh, properties. Um, right click properties sharing advanced sharing you want to share this folder to the permissions click that add everyone to it so everyone and do okay it's already in everyone give them full access okay okay and there's your network path of the share that you've done and it's got full administrator access. So that's how you share the folder manually, but let's do it using the template because it's much easier. So wizard, yes. Uh, now we're gonna create the folder. So it'll be C drive, you can put it on your desktop, put it wherever you want, scans. Um, next, the login name that we just created then. Next, all these settings are here. Finish, it adds in everything for you automatically, which is beautiful. Press OK, give it a name actually. So this is uh, Fuji Scans. OK, so now it's gonna add this Fuji Scans to the printer. It's not added yet because it's in yellow. So let's push the save button. It pushes it to the machine. And as simple as that guys, you've got your scan to folder um, set up. On, um, on a Fuji device. Thanks for your time today. Bye.